So this is the paper that I used. Um, I got it from Amazon. I have a link where you could get it. It's the J&J &J Packing Printable Vinyl and Sticker Paper for inkjet and laser printers. Standard size, eight and a half by. All right. Need your computer. Then we're gonna use um, Cricut Design Space. I'm also using my printer. Let me get a view. This is my Epson EcoTank ET4850. I use that for printing. My camera set back up. All right, so I use that for printing. Um, my EcoTank uses the Epson, I put in it the Epson 502 ink, which is a pigmented ink. So it gives a good finish and shine. It doesn't smear, dries very fast, no problems at all. So let's get into this video. This video, again, we're gonna make these cards here that's so popular, but I've been doing mine a little different. And this time I'm actually gonna do a different backing because I have a different paper that I bought from Amazon as well. Um, let me get that so you can see that. And it's the same type of paper, but it's metallic and holographic. And it's the Cricut Craft Board. And it's holographic neon colors. I thought that would be fun because I'm going to use mm -hmm. this picture here um, and try this out with you guys. So let's get started. So on this Epson printer, once I loaded my paper, I wanted, I'm going to show you this step. I wanted to... I need to change my paper because it was under regular paper. So I do a premium glossy paper. It's eight and a half by 11 letter. It's really, okay, so it's eight and a half by 11 letter paper. So then I close and then that's good to go. I just want to show you that. So you'll see how I change it to a better quality print and our paper. Anytime I open it and I change the paper inside, and I close it, it recognizes it's not that. And then I do um, favorites. Let me see, no. Do premium glossy. Yep, that's it. And premium glossy. On this, you can do ultra glossy, glossy, ultra glossy, premium semi gloss, presentation matte, premium matte. But I do it as a premium glossy or ultra glossy. Let's try ultra glossy this time. All right. So we got that set. All right, so we're gonna be working today in Cricut Design Space. So what I did was I uploaded a font that for the congratulations, I got that from um, Canva. And then this is just my picture here. We're gonna use that. And then what I use is this upload here that I have. I found this from a Google search and then we're going to use this box here and we're also going to use this here and that is going to be my lip gloss the lip gloss container is what it's called on etsy i purchased that from a seller on etsy i have that link below and um i purchased that from that seller but we're only going to use we're going to use the acetate sheet which i have here to make that box. Since those boxes are kind of hard to find or take a long time to get to you, I decided that this would be the better option is to use that paper. All right, so let's get started. So I've selected all of my things that I'm gonna use in Cricut Design Space to complete this project. I'm gonna click Add to Canvas here. And it's gonna send it all over to the canvas. It may take a minute because I did a lot of things at one time, okay? So see here you have everything uploaded. So we're gonna move these out of the way and then I hide them as I move them just because we're gonna work with one thing at a time, okay? So let's hide that. Let's take this and we're gonna take this and hide it as well, okay? 
All right, we're gonna take that congratulations and hide it as well. Okay, so the first thing is this picture. So you have to determine what size you want your um, card piece to be. Well, this one here, I think I did this like as a seven by five, which made it really um, kind of big. So I'm gonna try a little smaller one. So this time we're gonna go uh, five by six, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take this here, we're gonna go here, up here where my cursor is, unlock that image. Let's change the width of that because I want my width wider. So we're gonna go width of six. Sorry, width of six, enter. All right, and then we're gonna change our height to five. Perfect, okay? Now we have our image here to the perfect size. What I'm going to do is take this basic cut image and show it. And I'm going to also change it once I click on it. Doesn't wanna move. All right, so I'm gonna take this image and I wanna make it the same size as I made that picture. So that's gonna be six for the height. I'm gonna unlock it, six for the height and five. I'm at six for the width and five for the height. Sorry about that. All right, so now it's the same size just about. So I'm gonna line it up kind of how I want it to line up on the picture. This is just a tutorial just to show you it's not gonna be perfect. You know, is this something that I'm really using? So, there we go, we have it lined up. We're going to highlight it here and we're going to do a slice. Perfect. So now you're gonna have all kind of pieces, pieces you don't need as you pull, you delete. I'm just simply hitting delete. I'm gonna take that inside piece and hit delete. Perfect, all right? So there's your picture, okay? There's your card base. This is only gonna be printed. So you'll notice over here on this side, my cursor is, it says print then cut. That's exactly what that's gonna do. It's gonna print it. We're gonna print it on our um, printer. It's gonna then take it to our Cricut and cut that hole, right? But there's something that's missing. And for me, that is this money um, card holder PNG T file that I have here. I got that just Googling. Um, so I've taken that off of hide. So you'll see it, it's here behind. And what I do is I right click, bring it to the front, bring it across here. And now I'm going to size it based on how I want it and the placement that I want it on this card, okay? So I'm gonna place it here, perfect. All right, now what I'm gonna do is take a right click and I'm gonna highlight everything here. And then I'm going to group it and then I'm going to flatten it, all right? So what that does is that takes that box that was originally a print and cut file and groups it together, flattens it so it's not gonna cut it, it makes it into that one image, okay? Very straightforward. Now I'm gonna take my congratulations and show it, all right? And with that congratulations, I'm gonna right click again, bring it to the front. It's a little big for the card, so we're just gonna drag it until we get it to the size we want it. I don't want it to overpower too bad or make it too big. Again, this is not a final, something I'm gonna print and give to someone that's me. So I'm just showing you how I do my cards. You can also um, do your layouts in Canva and bring them over, put all your words, your pictures, images, everything together and make it that way as well. So let's see, where do we want the congratulations to go? So I want to tilt it back straight. Bigger. Here, no, let's make it smaller, how we had it. And then we're gonna do congratulations here in the corner, okay, perfect. All right, so now we have everything laid out. We have the congratulations. Congratulations also, again, it's not a print and cut. So we're gonna highlight, we're going to group. We're going to right click. 
right click and then we're going to flatten all right so now you have your congratulations uh, there that's going to print it's going to print this blank box here there's your image in the background and you have that hole that's going to cut on the machine all right so that's that now i'm going to hide that because now i'm going to show the lip balm box that i purchased from the seller on etsy now with the lip balm box what i'm going to do is ungroup because i don't need all of them you can go ahead and cut more than one if need be but being that i'm going to reuse the piece that i used before i'm going to ungroup okay then i'm just going to delete all of them except for one because we only need one for this tutorial purpose perfect and now I can show you the print and cut is going to be here. And we have our piece that we're going to cut out of our acetate sheet. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to click make it. I have my Cricut machine on. I have a Cricut maker. I'm going to actually use a mat because we're going to use that sticky paper as well as our um, mat board paper. I mean, not mat board paper, but just the mat board and that acetate sheet so they're going to all need to be on that cricut mat because they are not smart materials okay so then we're going to go continue it has my explorer so we have our machine we're going to click make it cricut maker three make it see for cricut smart materials only on mat on card mat or multiple ways it's going to be on a mat because we're using that mat board it's a 12 by 12 mat and we're also using that sticker paper so we're gonna click continue. Perfect. So it edit selections for each material here. Got it. All right. So the first thing it's saying is to load that acetate sheet onto that Cricut mat. All right. So I have my acetate sheet here and I have my Cricut mat here. All right. So now I'm going to click continue because it is 12 by 12. All right. It's looking for the Cricut Maker 3. All right. It's recognizing my Cricut Maker. For this one, this is acetate paper. So we're going to click browse our materials. And I got this acetate paper actually from Joann's. So anywhere where they sell Cricut products, it's actually a Cricut item. Um, so we're going to go down until we find that. Did I pass it? Let's see. All right, plastic. So it's under plastic. There's the acetate. So we're going to click that. We're going to click done. All right, it tells you what materials you need. And I'm going to load that over into my Cricut machine and I'll be right back. All right, so it is actually cutting that acetate paper. I decided to go ahead and cut the camera back one to record so you can see time-wise how long it takes. It's going to take a few moments for it to cut because it's going to actually cut and stencil. Now it's asking for me to go ahead and select that cut. So I did that. So here when you're doing the acetate, you'll see that it is actually um, going to cut, it's in cut one of three passes. So this is gonna take some time, so I'll stop recording here. And I'll pick back up once it's done uh, cutting, but it is one of three passes, okay? All right, so now that we've cut that, we're gonna go, this printed one, we wanna click send to printer. We're gonna select your printer here. Copies one, add bleed. You can add bleed or not add bleed. It's kind of up to you. I like to do bleed so that way we get a good cut. Um, use system dialogs. And let me just show you, when you the add bleed, it explains bleed extends ink slightly beyond the border of the image to eliminate a white margin once the image is cut. So that's why I like to do the bleed, okay? Click print, give it a minute. 
and your system dialog box should pop up. Sometimes it's hidden behind. This time it popped up in the front. You're going to select um, print settings, ultra premium photo glossy paper, best quality, and we are ready to print. So now you see here it's coming out of my printer. The Epson printer is highlighted. Waiting on that. We'll go back to the Cricut. For this, when I do this, I use the Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Printable Vinyl. Normally, if I'm just cutting that, but this time we are actually using that. Um, what is that? That. Uh, craft board so we want to use a thicker setting but if you were just cutting just the sticker then that's what you would use but let's change that to that material the craft board so here you see it says craft board metallic poster board poster board we're using holographic craft board this time so we'll select that option click done all right, and we're gonna wait for that to finish. So here's our print on that premium sticky paper. You see how that ink right off the printer? There's not any smearing. There's none of that with that ink. Great quality, love that printer. I've only had it for about a month. I'm still learning it, so have to bear with me. There'll be more videos coming with that printer, okay? So let me get my craft board so I can show you how All I- All right, so here's the, the color I chose. It's this orange holographic. Let me zoom out a little bit. This orange holographic craft board so what i'm going to do is on this white side because i want this to be my backing a cute decorative backing and i want this white side i'm not going to really i don't want it to show so what i'm going to do angle my camera down so you can see what i'm doing i'm going to take this sticker paper let me get my um scraper tool as well so i get a nice even All right, so I have my scraper tool so I can lay this down nice and even um, on here. So what I, what I like to do is start here up in the corner and pull it off. All right, and I'm going to just go like this, okay? I don't wanna take it all the way off yet. And I wanna line it up nice and neat to that corner, okay? And now I'm going to take my scraper tool, make sure I don't have any bubbles or air bubbles there, laying it down as I go. All right. Taking that, laying it down nice and neat. Now, when I used to have my HP, when I had my HP printer, I had to worry about drying. I would have to take out my um, heat, my, the, uh, heat gun and let it dry the ink that way this new printer i'm in love with it because i don't have to do all of that i can just get right to work and get my projects done with this eco tank and that 502 ink all right so that is on there so now i'm going to take my mat and put it on my Standard grip mat. I wonder if I should use a strong grip. We'll just go with the standard grip mat for today. All right. And I'm going to lay it down on this mat. And when you do that print and cut, you'll get those registration marks on there. So you see those that black um, square that's around the picture? That's what that is, okay? I'm just taking off the camera my scraper tool to make sure it's down nice and flush on my mat so I don't get any lifting with my machine when it's cutting. All right. So here you have it. So I'm going to take it over to the machine and cut. I shall return. All right. The machine is measuring the mat to make sure that I have enough mats to um, have enough room. It's actually going to cut it looking at those registration marks. And now it is ready to go. All right. All 
All right, so I have actually finished the cut. As you can see here, still on the mat. We're gonna take it off of that mat. Let me pull the camera back just a little bit so I can do that in front of you, all right? So here we have it, and that's it. See how it has that nice, pretty finish on the back? And there's your card. Now again, you'll make these a little more fancy when you're making them to give out. This is just a tutorial just to show you how I actually make the card. You see it's really thick, nice and thick and sturdy. Gives you a cute backing versus just a regular. Why be regular? Why? When you could be extra, look how pretty that is. How gorgeous the holographic it gives you, the oranges, how it reflects. You can see my setup with my camera and the reflection. Great quality. Let me zoom in a little bit for you to see. All right. So there you have it. That's how I did it. Now we're going to put the box together and put it on the card. And that's it. All right. So we have the acetate piece cut. And we have our printed cut and cut piece of our um, card. Okay. Our gift card. So now what we're going to do is take these things here. We're just going to fold them, crease them, and fold them. Okay. And this is just going to make like a little lipstick tube box. And I just decided to do this way because I was riding around to a couple of different Michaels looking for those holders, um, waiting on a shipment to come in from someone on Etsy, hadn't received it. And of course we know this is the time of the year where everyone is giving gifts, doing those things. So I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I needed a way to make everything happen ASAP. And so then your holder will go there. Bada boom, bada bam. So we're just going to glue it all together. Well, not glue. What I have is some double-sided tape and some scissors. So that's what we're going to do. Let's put it together. And we will be done. I'm going to pull the computer down so I can work. Okay. That. So what we're going to do is apply some tape here and just cut our little pieces according to that so then we need a piece there I'm just gonna come in and cut it if you have one of those tape runners you can use those as well um Put my overhead light this dark outside so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna take it here, here, I cut it as well. There, anywhere where those little folds are, we're gonna apply this double sided tape. There, and there, perfect. And we are almost done. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube, internet, everywhere on doing these cards. This is just my way. It's not the end all be all, but it works for me. I've done a few of these as gifts for graduation, birthday recently, and they were a huge hit. Um, thank you. Congratulations. All of those work. Whenever you want to give somebody some cash or something, make it fancy. Don't be regular. Make it fancy, right? All right. So, and a bam, and a bam. This piece needs to be fine. And right here. And then what you're gonna do is just go and remove um the little white pieces. Okay, so there, 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 and 
there. All right. So there we go. And we're just going to fold everything together. Nice and neat. like that and for this what I would have done I wasn't thinking is to not put um, glue on one end this way your double-sided adhesive you could put it there because if you're making them and selling them or whatever then you don't have to put the glue on this side I would leave it and then you could just tuck it in and reuse it I should say reuse it but it's not needed because you want it to hold only on one side so let's take it off of that side it's acetate so I was able to pull it right up so now if you're making them um, for someone as a gift it doesn't really matter how you want to do it but so they can easily get to the money you don't have to um, put adhesive on all sides. I would just do one side to close it, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is figure out what side I want facing up and what I want down. So, what I want out would be this side and yes. So we'll put, I like this side better. I think I like this side better. So we'll put double-sided tape on this side, okay? And some on this side. Just so it holds, I'm gonna put it on both, okay? That like so. And then now we have tape there and there. Let's get it down good. There we go. And usually one side lives really good, the other one doesn't. And bam. Right? And that's going to go like this, like that. Okay. And there you have your money holder gift card. Custom made. Money holder gift card. And then this side isn't closed, so we could put the money going in this direction, okay? And I have a picture at the end to show you how the money looks on the inside. It'll come after this. But that's it. It wasn't bad. It didn't take long. And you don't have to wait. You have a money holder gift card right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below. Nice, positive comments. Thank you. I appreciate you for watching. Check out my other videos. More videos coming weekly now. We're up and running again. Thanks, everyone. Bye.